guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited about today's video and as you can tell from the title, today I am going to be roasting my old planner spreads. Now my very first video on this channel, the video that launched my YouTube channel, is one where I did a flip through of this bad boy and this happens to be my very first happy planner. As you can see, it's from 2017 to 2018 and that's when I got started in the planner community. And let's just say I didn't really know what I was doing. So we're gonna go right into it, okay? This is my first ever layout. Now let me preface this with, if your layouts look like this, I am not judging you, I am not making fun of you, I am making fun of myself because this is not how I plan anymore and this is so weird for me to look at because my planning style has completely changed. Yeah, so don't be offended if your layouts look like this. Do you feel like I'm making fun of you? That is not the case. I am making fun of myself. I am roasting myself. Okay, so something that's fun to look back on when you look at old planner layouts is just how your planning style has changed since you started. Like, this is... No, this doesn't work. But again, I didn't know what worked for me because I was new. And the only way, I say this all the time, but the only way for you to know what works for you is to just try. If you don't try, you're not going to know what you like or don't like. Kind of like food, right? Here's another one. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, why, why are the, why? I, I barely left myself any room to write, but I remember like when I first discovered that you could, you know, put these stickers in these boxes on a, you know, classic vertical layout like <laughs> I just thought it was like the coolest thing and I couldn't stop doing it as you can see now this week I clearly just I don't know what happened over here yeah uh, this isn't oh mm. and as you can see not much has changed here I've never used these pages and I barely ever use my monthlies and that has not changed oh I mean, this this is just, this is sad, honestly. Like, I was trying, but I didn't know what I was doing. Now, I do, I like that sticker. It's a good My Chem lyric. But, and I really, now this is fun to look back on, and I, I pointed this out when I did my flip through of my of this planner. You should go back and watch that video if you'd like to see me flip through the entire thing, but I will say my... My filming setup and quality has gotten a lot better since that video, even though that was just in April. But anyway, this is fun to look back on because this was the first time I ever taught a class. Ever. And so that's that's cool that I documented that. And yeah, it's just kind of the same. Now I want to I wanna take you back here to October, okay? The reason I want to roast this is not for the theme. Now obviously the theme, I like it. It's Halloween. It's got purple and black and orange and I still have this washi tape, which is interesting. I've had it this long, but like there's no room to write anything here. I completely, I just use way too many of these stickers and there's like no room to, I remember I used to have to pop in filler pages all the time, like pop it in here and write like my actual to do's cause there's not, there's no room. Now this, this is one, I remember this vividly, uh, this layout, it, it bothers me. As you know, when I plan now, my layouts are very, like, I like to pick a theme and stick to it. And that theme doesn't have to be, like, that doesn't mean it has to be, you know, all the stickers have to be from the same brand or from the same sticker book or kit or whatever. It just means it has to, like, I go into it with a theme. When I used to plan like this, there was no theme. It was just, oh, I'm just going to flip through and just slap some stickers down. There was really no forethought. So, as you can see, we have Halloween and then we have, like, school and then we have just random and florals and oh no again you've got like rainbow and then you've got fall and oh oh no Woo! what is that what is that and it, again it is it is kind of fun to look back and see how long i've had some of this washi i still use this washi i mean what what is that i i don't need Oh my god, my nephew is turning three. He's about to be six. <laughs> I really, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. Now this, I was starting, 
<laughs> I'm starting to, to get a theme going, but it, it's still pretty bad. Now, this really bothers me, okay? This right here, now, it's obviously, it's December, right? We've got Christmas here. <laughs> laundry, laundry, laundry. That has not changed. You have wrap presents, but then you have, like, pink and purple and red. Like, there's just no theme, and that I hate that. I hate it. Oh, God. Something else that has changed as far as my planning style. I used to do some memory keeping in my planner. Like, this was my one planner, and this is what I had. And I used it for literally everything. And I don't do that anymore. I don't like to mix those things, but you will see that a little bit. I also said in a recent plan with me that, you know, in December, I tend to kind of neglect my planner because I'm always so busy with either traveling you know, work is kind of busy, you know, right before we go on break. And this is a great example of that. December 25th through 31st here of 26, 20, what year? 2017. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. Now, see, I did, I incorporated a lot of memory keeping and, and, mm. and as it kind of goes on, it gets, it gets better as far as theming, but what is this? Like, what is, what is that? Like, this, I mean, at least I stuck to a theme. I was like, I'm going neutral, black and gold. Great against me lyric right there. Don't let them break you. Don't let them tell you who you are. Great lyric. However, it's just so, and this is why the vertical planning doesn't work for me in this way. Like, the classic kind of happy planner vertical plan like there's just not enough room to write and it just I just don't like it now I do you know I do vertical layout still when I draw my own but I have the boxes or it's one box and it's long it's a little bit wider than this I mean at least I had a theme going now whoo so you know we were we were you know starting to have a theme going and at least that's something but this is so busy and like mm, no just not not my style at all anymore at least there's a theme but this just isn't me and I remember enjoying it at the time and I didn't really know what I wanted as far as a planner because I was new and I was new to this whole planner community and everything and I was like just so excited to have these sticker books and like see other people on Instagram that had the same planner as me and I thought that was so cool but like this is not me just this planning style is not me at all. And if you've seen my planner recently and plan with me or on Instagram, you know this is not my planning style. Wow. I mean, wow. I, I gotta give, you know, I, I gotta give it up for myself here. I mean, just very ballsy to just <laughs> fill up almost the entire page with stickers. And have no room to write the stuff you're actually doing. I mean, wow. I mean, I... That's impressive. This, again, it's way too busy. <laughs> Just drink a nitro gold brew and get it done. I like that. This is way too busy for my current taste. But I do see it getting better. The, you know, the theme's getting better. And, yeah... Oh my, what is that? I mean, it is, it was March, you know, mid-March, it was spring-ish, but like just a whole lot of stickers. Now I do, I, I used to also, I used to also journal a little bit in my planner, which I don't do anymore. My journal is very much like private and like, I don't really share the contents of my journal with anyone, so I didn't want to have that. And I just, my planner is my planner. I don't want journaling stuff in there. I'm just, I'm just different now. This is really something. Yeah, wow. I mean, I'm not really even sure what to say anymore. It's just so funny to look at because it's, this doesn't look like it was Cassie's planner. Like, this doesn't look like me at all. And I think that it's a, I think that it's a good thing that I have found my style and stopped trying to conform and be like everyone else because that has never been me ever so why should it be that way in my planner why should i be trying to conform and make my planner look a certain way just to please other people 
No. I wasn't really planning my best life in this planner because I wasn't happy. And I still, I, I'm not a, not a monthly layout person. This is just terrible. I, I, <laughs> I don't really. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Now, okay. I can, okay. Now, this was interesting, having the, the, um, the time, having the time here. That, that's interesting. I am not a hourly planner. I never have been, can't say never will be, because never say never, but I am not an hourly planner. Now, I do know that there are some days, like, when we used to have events and things. Like, if I was going to an event, like MAGFest, it's, sometimes it's hard to find the balance of, like, planning out your day when you're going to an event when you're on vacation versus just being spontaneous and going with the flow and trying not to stress but sometimes I like to use hourly for you know planning out my itinerary and things like that but I am not an hourly planner but I this color now these colors are, are me very me it, you can see I just fell off I would stop using it and that's how you know it wasn't working for me because I wasn't using it the way I, <laughs> I stopped all right, guys. Well, that has been me roasting my old planner spreads. Again, like I said at the beginning, if your layouts look like mine did, do not be offended. I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of myself. And I think it's hilarious that I think it's hilarious and also good that these layouts, just looking at them now, I can see how far I've come and I can see what wasn't working and how I was trying to make it work. And I was having fun. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't regret having this at all. I'm, I'm very thankful for this planner and although I'm not a huge uh, happy planner person anymore, I'm just a planner babe. I'm a planner enthusiast. I'm not a happy planner. I am very thankful. I'm very thankful for this planner because it's what got me started. It was my introduction to the community and I still think this cover is incredibly cute. And I, I just remember the joy that this planner brought me from the moment that I first bought it. Why am I like, why am I like getting emotional about a planner? It's really silly. But I remember the the joy that this planner brought me and just, it was a, a whole new world. <laughs> yeah, wow, I didn't expect to get emotional at all, but this is, it's kind of emotional looking back on it and remembering how much joy this brought me. And, uh, but it's also very interesting to look back on and see how much I've grown. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or wow. I have been watching way too much Smoky Glow. I literally was just reciting her outro. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, I'm just so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch. <laughs> you know you watch too much Smoky Glow. Okay. In all seriousness, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Plan This so far. I've been working really, really hard and having a lot of fun. And it's getting me out of my comfort zone. I passed 100 subscribers. And I know people are going to laugh at me and roast me. And that's okay. And I know 100 subscribers is literally nothing in comparison to these people who have thousands and thousands of subscribers. However... I am trying not to, to compare myself to others and also remember that my channel is very new and it is very rare, especially for something in uh, this kind of arts and crafts um, category. It's very rare for a channel to just blow up like that. And I'm not expecting that. And I'm doing this because I love it. I love sharing things with you guys. I've met so many amazing people in this community here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And I have made like, I have made amazing like legitimate friendships with people who shared this common interest of planning and crafting and scrapbooking and people who geek out over washi tape like I do you know so I'm very thankful for all you guys if you are one of my subscribers thank you so much it means the absolute world to me you have no idea and I do hope my channel will continue to grow as I keep going you know if you enjoy it feel free to share it with a friend and yeah so thank you guys so much um i am so happy about hitting 100 subscribers i'm thinking i probably won't do my first giveaway until i hit maybe 500 
I'm not sure yet. If you know, let me know down below. Maybe 250. I don't know. I'm at this point. I'm really not sure what I would like to give away. I want it to be something good uh, for you guys to just kind of give back. But just let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And yeah, be sure to turn on notifications. I'm posting a new video every single day in the month of December up through Christmas for Planmas. And after that, I will be continuing to upload. I try to upload a minimum of once a week. I try not to put too much pressure on myself. I don't want to stress out over it as this is just a hobby and something fun. But I do try to do a minimum of one video a week under normal circumstances, but we're doing one video a day in December. So we are killing it, putting out content, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. But anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.